besides spending the night in the local Walmart, there's a lot of uh, Walmarts in Ottawa that, and they're all RV friendly, which is really nice. Um, I just like to change it up. I don't want to spend every night in the same neighborhood, street camping and stuff, so just kind of move around a little bit sometimes and uh, makes your mind think differently. I got some shoots today out in Quebec and uh, we'll see what else, but hopefully it'll be kind of a slow day. Hopefully, because uh, I've been shooting a lot. Guys, I've been um, editing up a van tour video, finally, after like a year of living in a van. Um, I thought I'd go through a few other pieces of gear um, and do some videos about that. In this video, I thought I'd cover um, my toolboxes. I didn't think it merited like a whole dedicated video, but uh, it's still kind of cool. The big ones, and this is a recent upgrade. This is my big tool bag. This is full of power tools and spare parts like my impact drill, I like spare parts for my brakes, spare um, V-belts, um, spare parts for my bicycle, uh, and then I've got like uh, my hatchet and my folding saw. Very handy, this folding saw is, uh, is dope. This was like five bucks. I use this all the time on campsites. Definitely, definitely, definitely love this bag. Love that I can carry all my stuff in it. Like, so much glue. That's another thing. If you're living in a camper van, like you need like five different types of glue and like four different types of tape. My next toolbox, probably in order of, of importance, this is my main mechanical toolbox. I finally replaced that one that burned in the fire. It was making all my tools rust. But uh, it's just full of um, sockets, wrenches, adjustables, just about every like basic, um, automotive mechanic tool and bicycle mechanic tool that uh, that you can kind of fit into one of these. It's extremely heavy and it's extremely packed. Ugh. All right, next most important toolbox. This is my electronics toolbox. This is just to fix electronics. That could be um, a TV, an, an iPhone, um, some of the electrical in the van, the drones, everything that I need to fix this stuff. So uh, a lot of spare wiring, a lot of spare wires, zip ties, spare bits for drones, like antennas and stuff. Um, a lot of connectors, so many connectors and switches, wire strippers, um, this, this little packaging stuff for uh, like heat shrink for when you wire stuff. This, this is great, I love this stuff. And it's a mess, it's an absolute disaster, but um, I use this a lot because a lot of the electronics in here, I went and got 12 volt, but then I directly wired them into the van. Um, so yeah, it, it just takes a little bit more setup, a little bit more work. And uh, this toolbox has come in super handy for that. I'm gonna have to downsize this one. This toolbox right here, or ammo box, is literally just screwdrivers. This is not efficient. I, this, I don't suggest this. Um, it's nice to have, and but honestly, I hardly use these. And uh, yeah, those are my toolboxes. Um, down here I also have storage for uh, my racing drone, which I haven't included at all in our videos yet. So this thing is like a lot of fun. It's also very dangerous, um, and I am still getting used to flying it. So I still have a bit to learn on how to use it. So I want to get this in the video soon because uh, it is hella fun, but uh, I'm not there yet. here safe and sound gonna do a quick little airbnb shoot and it should only take about 15 minutes and then sam is talking about going hiking with champ all right okay shoot is done um i think that's my only shoot today which is kind of nice because i've been working a lot the last few days so today sam and i are gonna go out into the hills we're gonna go for a hike thanks for lunch mom you're the best
welcome. This is, this is how I eat healthy. It's not my own doing. It's my mother's doing. This is a new thing for me. I'm really enjoying it. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Full things, I leave my phone behind. I'm going to ditch the van for a bit to take Sam's uh, boyfriend's truck here. First of all, because it's really nice. Secondly, the air conditioning works because it's not overheating. And thirdly, it's way better on gas. States, Mackenzie King being one of the prime ribs of Canada. Prime rib. Prime rib. Anyway, donated the land to the park or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, it's part of the Gatineau Park now. You can come up here and see it. It's got a very uh, Victorian England vibe to it. The garden country, as it were. But uh, this is where our trail starts, and then we get to go check out a waterfall. been so dry. It hasn't felt very dry. It's rained quite a lot. Camp found what's lying left down. of the water and he's lying down in it. It's like a mud puddle. Ugh. I can hear something that sounds like water. Could just be the trees blowing in the wind. But we're going to continue down the river here and see if we can't find something. There we go, rushing water. Beautiful. Wow. spectacular waterfall I was hoping for but it is still quite nice and the nice thing is I think this is the creek that we saw earlier I think it's been diverted no one's here just us the mountain lady drinking straight out of the stream it tastes great oh my god <laughs> Some kind of newt. Yeah. <laughs> it's very slippery. That's so cool. We, there's not many snakes up here. We have like gardener snakes sometimes. Um, and I've never seen a newt in Canada, like anywhere. So that's cool. As you walk up, all the frogs start jumping out of the way. It's really cool. Hot. I think Champ's hungry, so we're gonna stop and get some food. <laughs> you seem stressed out, buddy. What's up? He's so hungry. What is it? For you Anglophones in the house, this is this is a good one. Um, when you translate hot dog 
French translate that literally, so it's chien chaud, as in like a warm dog. It's just weird to me. Chien chaud. Chien chaud. Hot dog. Nice. She had to put it on a plate and everything. She had, had, a, little... had a plate and it, she had to wrap it? Because it's so big. Oh my god. Look at that. That's the OG Big Mac right there. Whoa. Yeah, dude. You <laughs> need some help with that. So as I've mentioned before, Roadside America Americana is a, a big deal to me. I really enjoy Roadside America, but I'm really excited about this maritime trip because it's all Roadside Quebec. And Roadside Quebec, whole nother level. Um, it's like Nordic Americana. It's weird. Let's go. Oh. I'm gonna try this out. Okay. Oh boy. Not so heavy on the toppings. It's kind of similar to Wendy's almost. And the toppings is like a little bit of lettuce and one tomato. Yeah, she didn't put lots. But boatloads of meat, boatloads of cheese, and especially this sauce. I don't know what that is. Good man, secret sauce. But it's very good. Oh, that burger was intense. I'm like uh, very balloon shaped right now. So uh, let's go back into the city. Let's roll down the hill back into the city. And uh, I don't know. I have so much work to do. I do work. It sucks. Let's go into the city and fly drones instead and play Pokemon Go maybe. I'm back at Sam's place. This is where I sit a lot, right here on the couch. I've actually worn a spot and I gotta move a cushion over. And uh, catching up on all the YouTubers because now I'm not traveling so, you know, I need to get my fix. So right now I'm learning all about the sailboat life because that might be in my future. Maybe. We'll see. My mom and I are making dinner here. Yep. I'm, I've got the important parts of dinner figured out here. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to a wonderful dinner. Do you think you're going to get a sailboat? I don't believe I will. I just went for the first time last month in one with a guy. And it was quite interesting, but it's a little scary for me. Like, I'm not a huge swimmer, and I think I'd be terrified most of the time. Hmm. So. I don't, I, it's pretty scary for me, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was kind of cool, but you're almost standing upright at certain points when you're supposed to be sitting down. Yeah. And, and he's assuring me that the boat isn't going to tip over. Yeah. I'm not so sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just attached a Pokemon. Yeah. You know when you're in uh, grade school and the bully doesn't pick on you because your friend is really tough? Well, for me, that's Mark. So we're going to go to this Pokemon gym right now. Mark's going to lay a smack down on him because he's like level, what, 24? 24. So he's going to lay a smack down on these guys, and then he's going to put a cred Pokemon up there, and then I'm going to beat that one, then he's going to beat my Pokemon, then I'm going to beat his Pokemon back and forth, and, and you profit, right? We're playing Pokemon Go right now. Kicking ass, taking names. The Tentacruel did not see anything. He's coming. Oh, oh, here we go. Did you get beat? Yeah, I got beat because that Jolteon is really weak defense. But that's okay. That's six Pokemon. Alright. Okay, no, he's doing alright, so he lost one Pokemon, but he's gonna win. Alright, Mark and I are at City Hall right now. Oh, this one's really strong, 707 CP. For Golbat. <laughs> anyway, I've saved up my Lucky Egg, which gives me double XP for 30 minutes. For, for 30 minutes, I'm evolving all my Pokemon, and we're trying to catch a few more. We're gonna do some battles, we're gonna do all kinds of stuff. And uh, this is the most popular spot here in Ottawa for uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Go. I'll show you what I mean. Oh yeah. Those people are here playing Pokemon Go. That's wild. So many people. It's like 200 people right here. Mm -hmm. 